Hey, hey, uh, after a bit of a different intro uh, today, um, I'm going to show you um, a game I had with two of my clanmates, Zulu and Pop Pop. I've already introduced them in the intro. Um, we're all trying our Hellcats, and at the start of the game, I told them, guys, I'm going to spot. Support me. We only have one light tank, a shuffle, and um, he's heading down the 890 line, so we don't have anyone spotting 1 2 line. So, up to the uh, position where you often find scouts. Not always, but often. And that's where I'm heading right now. Um, you might wonder what was that into what was that all about? Well, I kinda like came up with Hey Kitty and the other tanks in the garage. And I decided well I'm going to give it a try to just make a comic out of it. So maybe you're going to see a, little, a few more of those um Yeah comic style tanks. Okay, so. And the first episode is all about going out and feeding the fight and then feasting uh, herself. Myself. Whatever. So, there was the first kill of my platoon. I've spotted the OI experimental down there. And you might be wondering why isn't she sh shooting it? That's Cromwell over there. Yes, I could have killed him easily, but as soon as I take a shot, I'm going to be spotted, and I don't know yet what's down there. I'm trying to spot stuff, but I haven't so far, and now it's waiting. I'm passively scouting, and you need a lot of patience for that. So, yeah, I can just talk to you. Um, yeah, so there I'm spotting again the Cromwells down there, but no one could really hit him. And we're wondering in team speak, well, when are we going to head further down? We don't know yet where most of the enemy tanks are. And I'm telling them, well, guys, let's wait another two or three minutes before we act upon anything. Let's see how the game is developing. If anyone wants to push up one two line, I'm going to spot them. And they probably have at least one tank down there. I'd say more. Yeah. <laughs> so, we yeah, are uh, just waiting for the time being. Um, it's a game of patience right now. Who is going to move first? Who's going to be spotted first down one two line? I'm pretty sure that there's a scout down there, but. I don't really know where he is, I don't really want to move um, because I don't want to get spotted but if anyone moves down there I am probably going to spot them so it's waiting and waiting clock's ticking and eventually the KV, the, bo the two KV wants Platoon 2 on our team is moving down and yeah, I've just been told on team speak. Hey, the KV ones are moving down the road. And I was like, okay. Well, let's see if they spot anything. Not that Russian tanks are that good of a spotter. But yeah. If anyone shoots them, I'm going to spot them. Probably. Okay, there's a Cromwell again. And he didn't really have that bad a game there, so let's see what he's going to do. Well, he's uh, appeared again. Artie is complaining that no one is doing anything, no one's moving. But even though I'm in a spotting position there and I'm trying to spot, 
and I've already spotted a tank. I'm not really a light tank. I'm not as fast and well, fast yes, but not as mobile as a light tank. And therefore, I don't really want to go and uh, yeah, try to spot. And there's something else spotted. And I'm not going to shoot him either. But my team is going to. And the Cromwell is not being shot at. You want to see more of him later. I want my team to shoot him, but they don't. Archie is trying to hit the dicker marks. But also that tank is still alive. And there's... Yeah, he is again. He just shot. And... Zulu takes him out. But... Zulu has been spotted by killing the dicker marks. And... Yes... He's been killed by the Cromwell. Too far forward. Uh, there is no cover between him and the tank that was spotting him. But he was pretty far back, so there has to be a, some scout, probably the leopard, close by. So I know there is at least one more tank down there next to the Cromwell. And I need to stay back and take care that I'm not spotted if I want to uh, shoot something. As I also see artillery. Right now I'm t trying to move back, get enough cover between me and the Cromwell to shoot him. He's not spotted anymore, so I'm going heading forward again to respot him. The KV-1 is also moving uh, in. I'm pulling back again. I need 50 meters between me and the combo, uh, mean the bush in front of me. Now I can shoot the combo without being spotted. And he's complaining in chat. And I'm telling him, well, spotting. It's all about spotting mechanics and using camouflage. And there's a light hang. What did I say? He had to be here. Again, I'm pulling back so that I only see his outline. Which means I can't be spotted, shoot and kill him. So Cromwell's asking, spotting with a hacket? And I, I'm uh, pausing to tell him yes, the hacket indeed is a good spotter. And yeah, both KV1s on our team are now dead. But um, we know that they are tanks actually killed most of the tanks on this line probably um, going back to uh, what we know of the positions of the tanks there was one heavy on the hill um, there was a medium tank over there Archies are probably on the F on the K line um, so what could we face uh, we could have the Panzer Souffles, the PZSFL 4C, or one of the other heavies, or the SU down there still. The T25 is moving out, and there we have one of the Panzer Souffles. And I'm taking the shot because I'm pretty sure there is not really that much, and I only see his outline. He's behind a bush. And Boba takes a kill. And I decide, well, it's time to get active in the game. And I'm shooting at the ARL. He's being tracked. I bounce off him. Which, which kind of annoyed me. But I knew he had to, he couldn't get far being tracked. Again, I only track him. I don't do damage. I, he could have been dead by now. But he seems to have used his repair kit and that's his death now. And now it's time to move um, because 890 line has fallen. There's only one TD and one medium tank defending there. 
um, the medium tank hasn't really done anything. It seems like he didn't, hasn't even moved from the cap yet. Maybe he's still, uh, he didn't enter the game or he's AFK or whatever. Now we are closing in. Um, yes. There's a, uh, Panzer 3 4, and I'm looking okay. There's a Stoke 3. He should be able to de deal with him, and then he kills him. And Artie tries to. Good try there with Artie. Nothing aimed there. And. Uh, I killed the Artie. And I also don't fully aim for the, uh, Panzer. For the second Panzer of Flee there. I wanted to, but I decided not to. Uh, relying on my crew there, and I tell my uh, clanmate to wait that I'm going to try to get eyes on the cap spot. But there isn't anything. What I see is that there's a hit by the RT. And at the time of the, when I was in the game, I mistook that shot our RT fired there for their RT firing. Okay, two shots, I haven't been spotted, so there's nothing close enough to spot me while shooting because I wasn't using uh, the bush really as cover so I'm closing in on the cap I don't want to get onto the cap because um, I don't want to tell them hey here I am Artie misses me there I take a shot auto aim both Artie miss me there's another one missing me and I take out the uh, Hummel. The um, Churchill tries to kill me, but he's he got killed. Uh, the Quill misses again, and I'm closing in now, trying to get him. But I only sp spot him, or wasn't I? I don't know. And our Artie takes him out, and I decide to quest the hill. The uh, there's only one tank left. And he's a, he's a one shot. So I stop, I aim, and kill him. And meet up with Pop Pop, the Hellcat fight. Getting back together. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, post game battle uh, results. Uh, I've got the Ace Tanker here, I've got Spotter for doing the spotting. Uh, that I did, I got Boozer, I've got Fire Effect, High Caliber, which also means that after spotting I did a lot of damage. Uh, I've got Top Gun, you all could see that during the game. And as you can see, there's lots of tanks that I either spotted or damaged and killed. Um, taking a look at the uh, team score, uh, one can see that my platoon, or two of our platoon, finished top in XP and damage. Um, Zulu did not, but he also uh, did 800 damage, which is okay for a Hellcat. Um, on the other team, uh, they didn't really do that much damage. There was only one uh, person doing over 1000 damage, the SU-100, so um, it wasn't really a good team at that. Um, now let's take a look at the uh, detailed report there. I fired 15 shots after spotting. Um, I fit 12 of these and penetrated 10, um, allowing me to do 1769 damage and almost 1,000 of those over a distance of more than 300 meters. I got uh, hit once and Artie splashed me once. Uh, interesting enough, uh, I've got six spots there. So uh, yes, the Hecate is a spotter. I did almost, uh, I assisted with almost um, 1,400 damage. I damaged 8 tanks and killed 7. So most of the tanks that I set my eyes on, I killed. Which uh, gained me 33,000 um, credits after repairs and almost 
and over 1800 XP for a non double. Okay, hope you enjoyed uh, this replay, and if you enjoyed the uh, um, little comic at the start, please tell me um, because I wonder if I'm going to do them again. I probably will. A few more. I've got a few more ideas. Um, if, got, if you've got ideas for opening comics, please feel free to uh, comment here or on other videos and I will see if I can do picking those up. Bye bye.